Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to set up Tiltify alerts on Twitch. Tiltify is one of the best resources when it comes to fundraising across the world online. You can use this resource for anything, be it Twitch. So the first thing you need to do is get set up on Tiltify.com. You can sign up right here as a fundraiser. And what I like to do is continue with Twitch because it's always easier for me personally to have everything synced to one place. So we're going to quickly sign in because I already have an account, so it's easier. And it'll take a couple of seconds and you're going to be logged in. Perfect. You can see the blank image turned into my profile picture, which is exactly what we need. From here, you can start fundraising immediately. Something as simple as homelessness, which will give you a bunch of resources for organizations that work with, with the homeless. You can click on view all, and it'll give you a list of all these resources. Or you could even search for India, which will give you a list of organizations that work in India with Indian communities, which is also really cool. Or you can go the third way for this particular video, where you can go click a link. That's the link from Jacksepticeye's Hankness video. It's very straightforward. It shows you top fundraisers. It shows you all the, all the good stuff. We're going to click on fundraise now, and we're going to get started. It already has this, the cost selected and the fundraising grant selected individual or team-based campaign. I will choose a team-based campaign because that's what I'm currently working on. So this is my team, Sassy Squad. Click on this, click continue. And this is the fun part. Choosing a campaign name. The campaign name can be anything. So for this example, we're going to say apples and oranges. The best part about this is it automatically uses the name for the campaign as your campaign link. You can edit it if you'd like, but it changes it automatically, which is pretty cool. You don't have to do any extra steps. Hit continue. Here you can link a live stream of video or an image, and you can go wild with this. I, I will be linking my Twitch to it eventually. Hit continue, and here we come to the campaign goal. One thing to keep in mind about the campaign goal is the minimum amount that you put in cannot be changed once, once the campaign goes live. So be very mindful of that. You can always increase it, but you can't reduce the goal. Hit continue, and this shows you what the cause will look like. Goal set in kitchen via thankness, apples and oranges, and hit create or create and publish. I'm going to close this for now because I already have a fundraiser created. All right, from here, you can go directly to your dashboard and it'll show you all the teams that you're part of. It'll show you your campaigns, your account, the public profile, all this fun stuff that you can work with. And here is when things get a little bit more niche for the video that I'm making. If you're watching this video as part of my Sassy Squad team, all you need to do is go straight to teams, click on Sassy Squad, and it'll bring you to this place. You will get access to this after I give you access. It's, it's very weird that way. Click on campaigns and then click on the Sassy Squad for Thankness, which is the Thankness event that we're doing this year. This, this page here will show you the amount you have raised for your team, the amount Thankness has raised as a total, and any milestones you have set up. You can copy the URL right here and post it wherever you want. People can donate to it directly. There's a lot of different things to go through here. I'm only going to focus on the overlays because that's the point of this video. The overlay section is very well done and it's very easy to understand. All you need to do is click on create a new overlay. You can have a blank slate or you can have a default recommended that the Tiltify recommends to you. The Thankness campaign has said that they will be updating a personalized campaign by the 1st of December. So if you want to wait, you can wait for that. Or if you'd like, you can use one of these default ones. What I like to do is move this here this is the alert box. I like to have it here. I, I usually delete the QR code because I have different resources for these things. And everything else is, this is how it looks. It's going to show you your top donations. It's going to show you an activity list of the last few donations. This cycles out to top donation, or you can have it to say latest donation as well. Or the alert box. The fun thing about this is you can have it do anything. You can have it say dancing bear, right? And right here, that's the dancing bear that I like. Is the one that I usually use. And for alerts, here's what I like to do. The barking alert is my favorite simply because it is completely different from what, from anything that happens on my stream. So I know for sure that you had a donation. I don't forget it or miss it. Because the other ones, which are there's coins, there's applause, and all those other things, are sound alerts that work on my on my stream as well. Sometimes it's just easier to have it that way. And that's it. You're done. Click on save changes. Copy the URL and put it into your OBS. That's it. If you want to test a donation, it only shows up in this section. It will not show up on your OBS, which is also really cool because it avoids any confusion. That is how you set up 
Filterify alerts on Twitch. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. I hope it made sense. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below or reach out to me directly on Twitch or Twitter. And I'm pretty much very active on both those places. Thank you for watching. I hope this was informative. See you